Hello everyone, this is Ella and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing two different glass pens from different sides of the spectrum and they come from two very different parts of the world. So a few years ago I went to Venice, Italy on vacation and I went to the island of Murano and glass blowing is really big there. They've had that tradition for many, many years and they do some amazing, beautiful artwork with glass. I bought this glass dip pen there. It cost me maybe between 20 or 30 euros. It is a work of art. It is completely beautiful. And this is what introduced me to glass dip pens. I'd never seen them before. So I was so excited. I brought it home. I thought it was so special and unique. And then this past weekend, I was walking at the Dollar Tree store, just browsing, and I came upon this, a glass pen. Quite similar, it even brings ink. And you know how much it costs? One US dollar, one US dollar. So of course I had to buy it. You know, my whole idea that my beautiful glass dip pen from Murano was so unique and special that I'd never seen it before was blown into pieces, that whole romantic notion. So I had to do a review of this just because I thought it was so interesting that they would have a $1 glass dip pen at the dollar store. So let's review these two, compare them and see what's different and what's the same. And if it actually, it's worth buying a very expensive glass dip pen if you can do the same things with a cheap one. Maybe there's something that this one has that this one doesn't. So the glass dip pen from the dollar store, it is made in China and imported by, I guess the Dollar Tree. Uh, it's the Dollar Tree private label brand, which is Jot, that all their kind of office supplies, art supplies that are private label are this brand. It comes in this type of packaging. I don't have the original packaging for this pen. It came on a, just like a nice box. So here we have some ink, 0.23 fluid ounces of ink. It's kind of pink. They had different colors. They had um, blue and black, I think, and they came with blue and black ink, respectively. The body of the pen is a glass. It is glass, oh my goodness. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be plastic and then the point was gonna be glass. It comes with a, also a protective cover, which is very tight in there and I don't wanna break it. I need to figure out how to remove that. Okay, I removed the protective sleeve from the dollar store pen, which is really hard to remove. So as you can see, it has a cylindrical nib with some grooves that are at an angle. And the body is just straight, so it's less ergonomic for sure, but definitely not bad. It's not uncomfortable to hold. Now the tip, I don't know if you can see it here. It's flat. It has a flat tip. If we look at the Italian one, the tip is actually not perfectly flat. The tip has some cuts, some angled cuts, so that you can write with the pen at different angles and get different line widths. So one side of the pen has like a sharper angle than the other side. And I'll show you when we try it on paper. So on the surface, I can already see a huge difference. Basically, you can get different line widths, and that's my theory at least, with the Italian pen. It's also more ergonomic and obviously more beautiful. So definitely you pay a premium for that. This kind of dollar store pen looks, I mean, for a dollar, it looks really nice, 
but I have a hypothesis that I won't be able to make different line widths with the tip. So let's put these two to the test. So I just have some mixed media paper here and I have two inks. This is an ink that I bought in Italy. I'm not 100% sure if it came with this pen. It has been a few years, but it came with a similar pen probably with a different dip pen. So I bought this in the same store where I bought this pen and this is this ink from the dollar store. So I'm gonna try both of these. Let's start with the Italian pen. I'm just gonna dip the pen in ink and I'm gonna just try to make some lines. You can make some pretty thick lines and you can make thinner lines. So you can see here that you can make definitely different line widths. This is thicker and then you turn it and it's thinner. That's pretty good. It holds a good amount of ink. So you can write or sketch with it quite a bit until the ink stops flowing. So it's like keeps flowing, keeps flowing. And I could probably keep going. <laughs> now I'm gonna try the dollar store pen. Same thing, I'm gonna dip it in the ink. And okay, that's not bad. It actually feels really nice to use. I'm trying to turn it to see if I can get different line widths. But the line width, as I expected, is the same. So you can't really get variations. And if I put less pressure on it, oh, look what happened. There was like a big drop of ink that just fell off the tip. So somehow the ink just doesn't flow the same. That did not happen with the Italian pen. I wonder if it has to do with how the ridges are shaped. But you can keep going. Maybe I should have used less ink or maybe I, sh I could have like cleaned it on the side of the ink barrel or the ink bottle. That might have helped to avoid this type of thing. But it also holds a tremendous amount of ink. I could probably just keep going. So that's not bad. That's really not bad at all. I wanna sketch something with both these pens just to see how, how it sketches. that these inks are both water soluble. So I can take a brush and literally just like move the ink around as if it was watercolor to create some shading. And this is a very, very sketchy acorn squash. Messed it up a bit. I just wanna test to see now I am rinsing my pen in water after I use it each time so that the ink doesn't dry on the glass nib. All right, so I'm gonna dip this one. I'm actually gonna try to clean it on this side to avoid it making a mess. I made my two sketches. I have to say that the three main differences of these pens are one, the barrel, the weight distribution is different. The Italian one has a thicker belly and it's more ergonomic to hold. And the nibs, the dollar store nib is a bit scratchier and you can't make different line widths like you can with the Italian nib. But I found that you can get really decent results, decent lines. Uh, the ink is obviously, it's, it's a different color. It's less pigmented, so it doesn't have, like, it doesn't create dark darks like 
this blue one does also the color helps so it but it's still for one dollar to get a glass dip pen and some ink that actually works pretty well i think it's a crazy deal and i kind of wish i had found this before i i went to italy just to have um some background on like what glass dip pens are and how to use them and everything i don't regret buying this one though it is a work of art and i enjoy using it and looking at it and holding it it's just like a joy to look at beautiful art materials so that's something i really like so i would definitely wouldn't have changed my decision to buy the italy one but to practice this is awesome sometimes i'm afraid i might break this one and i don't want to take it with me to travel or outdoor sketching because you know it's too precious so this would be a great alternative to take for outdoor sketching if you want to get some more interesting lines and different um effects when you're sketching outdoors and if it breaks then it's just a dollar so it doesn't really hurt as much all right that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed that and learned something if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe below hope to see you in my next video Bye bye